to dance lessons with the Contessa. Today, we're going to be learning the dance Marquesana. I apologize, he's a, he's a tension hungry beast. In any case, we're going to be learning Marquesana, which is a ballo for two. Ballo meaning a form of dance that is very courtly in nature. In this case, it actually has several different tempi and many flirtatious figures. So we shall be learning this dance. And because it is part of a great cultural tradition that involves, involves courtly manners and elegance and exquisite delight, I thought we might start with a reading of a festivity that took place in the period in which this dance was the most popular so that we might put you in the mood and spirit to learn this dance in its proper context. So there was a great festivity held in Florence in the year 1459, and the young Duke Galeazzo Sforza attended, and he was the guest of honor, of course, being of the house that ruled Milan, the Sforzas. And of course, because he was the highest ranking person in the city at that moment, he was greatly honored. But he did not, in fact, uh, initiate the dancing. He was the gentleman who was invited to dance by ladies. To wit, <clears throat> it seemed like a paradise with angels. Then the pifferi and trombone players began to play a salterello artistically and artfully constructed. Then every squire who is graceful and slender chose his wife or maiden and began dancing, doing one thing or another. They might promenade around, saltella, change hands, exit, have new partners, or perform a beautiful dance of two or three parts. Two young women who were blessed with beautiful faces, which radiated joy, went over to invite the gentle count, that being Duke Galeazzo, or Count Galeazzo at that point, he was still just the scion of the house, to dance with them. They made an inchino to the ground with very ornate and animate reverenza. The young military leader stood up and returned an inchino to them. Then he took his place between them and danced without making a mistake. While the count danced with the young women, men and women stood up and bowed every time the three dancers passed by. They danced to the dance called Peregrina, and then the ladies escorted him back to his place, honoring him through their manner. A little later, the count stood up and invited two ladies, which made them blush. With dignity, each one honored him, they placed him in the middle and danced. Everyone stood up when they passed. And in such formation between two women, Mr. Tiberto, another important gentleman, also danced. Don't even ask if the hearts were joyous and if the maidens stared as they were seen giving such honor. The dancing seemed like paradise and the dancers from the orders of angels, each one filled with joy and love. So, with that rousing and very illustrative description in mind, let's learn the dance. So, let's start at the very basics with our footwork drills. So, even if you already know the basics of 15th century Italian footwork, or maybe even the advanced version, I still recommend participating in these footwork drills to both enhance your skills and also potentially warm up if you've been sitting before you actually uh, start this. So, let us start at the very basics with sempi singles. This is the basic foundation of dance and it is in fact just walking. So, a sempio consists of a step and a pause. Step, pause. Because the first one was on the left, the next one will naturally be on the right. Step, pause. Now, if the music is in 4-4, um, as it shall be for this first bit of the exercise, one, two, three, four, then two sempi, two singles, takes the space of one measure of music. 
i.e. four counts. So that means that your tempo is going to look like this in line with the steps. So left foot is free, four, three, two, one, step, pause, step, pause. Okay, so I'm going to put on the music for the actual dance and we're just going to warm up walking singles and I'll call out various instructions on how to modify your single and try to do so as we're walking along just these nice sedate single steps. Okay, maestro, please. Intro and step, 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 step. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Come up on your toes. Walk flat. One. Okay. Very nice. <clears throat> so we can also walk those singles, those sempi, in a nice bassa danza, which means, in musical terms, 6-4. So that sounds like this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Right. So in that mensuration, we shall be stepping on 1 and 4. So if weight is on our right foot and our left foot is free, and I encourage you to make it so, it would look like this. One, two, three, four, five, six. 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 Now, you'll notice that I do not close my steps, but I leave them open. That is on purpose. In the dance manuals, there are a few spots where the instructions do in fact specify to close your feet, but not everywhere and only in those few instances. And within the same dance, there'll be spots where there's no indication of foot closure and then there's indication of foot closure. So to me, that says that we should actually be generally leaving our feet open. And if you do that, then you won't really have to ponder which foot comes next, right? So you step left, and you know what's going to come next because you haven't closed your feet. So you know that the right foot has to come next. So it's important, therefore, that you also fully acknowledge the pause in the single step. All right? So that would be step, pause, step, pause, step, pause, step, pause. So that you take up that whole measure of music, step. Okay, so I'm going to put on some basa dance music, also from Marquesana. And we are going to then dance together single steps in the basa dance style. And I shall call out instructions such as dance up on your toes, rise and fall, etc., etc., to try to help us flesh out our singles a little bit, our senpi. Right, so, maestro, if you please. Oh. Sorry, could you fast forward? Oh, you've rewound it, didn't you? I did. That was not supposed to happen. One more four. Ready? Single. Single. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, four. Come up on your toes. One, two. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four. Come flat. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now try rising and falling. Like you're stepping over a little pile of something. Rising and falling. Six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Right. So those are sempi in both quartinario, which is the 4-4 four, four, tempo, and basa danza, which is your 6-4. So from the single steps, we can now migrate upwards to the double. And the double is called the double not because the steps are twice as many, it's because the speed of each step in the double is twice as fast, double as fast. So in quartinaria, that being the 4-4 four, four tempo, the 
Double consists of three steps, three even steps, evenly timed, evenly spaced steps, and a pause. And that would look like this. Weight is on your right foot, left foot is free, and we go left, right, left. Then the next one would perforce start on the right foot because at the end of the double, I did not close my feet. So the next one will start with the right and right, left, right. Let's go ahead and practice walking just a series of doubles, a series of dopi, as the plural of dopio is called, in, or formulated rather, in uh, Tuscan. So weight is on our right foot, our left foot is free, and we're going to dance this, of course, to the quartanaria music that commences our dance, Marquesana. So from the top, brief intro, and we'll start doubles on your left. One, two, three, and double, two, three, double, two, three. Step, 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 pause, step, 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 pause, step, 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 pause, step, step. Come up on your toes. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, Very nice. We can also do those dopey in basa danza, of course. And in basa danza, the tempo changes because it's on 6-4 instead of 4-4. Four, four. And so that means that we actually end up with a nice syncopation. So the dopio at this tempo ends up being step, 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 pause, step, step, step. So the second step is quicker than the first and third step. So you'll end up stepping on one, four, and five. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Right. So if our weight starts on our right foot, it would look like this. So weight is on our right foot, left foot is free. And step, 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 pause. Step, 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 pause. Step, 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 pause. Again, we are leaving the last foot behind with no weight on it so that it knows its job is to start the next double. So let's go ahead and try dopey doubles at that, at that mensuration, at that meter in basa danza. So um, weight starts on our right foot. There will be two little pickup notes at the beginning of this section. You do not step on the two little pickup notes step on the, the actual tenor that follows that. Okay, so, maestro, if you please. Da da, step, 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 pause. 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 Now try leading with the shoulder of the foot that's leading. So if you start right, lead with right shoulder. If you start left, lead with left shoulder. And try adding a gentle rising and following through your double. Up, up, flat. So those are dopey and basa danza. Now let's go ahead and put the singles and doubles together in basa danza. So the pattern that we're going to be practicing, therefore, is two singles and a double, two singles and a double. Okay, two one, two one. I'm just gonna practice that for a little bit. Now, what I'd like you to start adding, if you're feeling comfortable, is a rising and falling motion. And that's more like a gentle wave. So in your singles, that would look like this. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, five, six. And of course, again, also, as I mentioned briefly, you can add the shoulder shading, which means the shoulder of the foot that leads comes forward. All right, so those are your singles. And then on the dopey, put that gentle wave kind of through the length of the dopio. So we start 
up, up, down, up, up, down. So you're up a little bit, you're up most on the second, and you're lowering yourself on the third step. And again, on the dopio, you can lead with the shoulder of the foot that's leading. So we're now going to put our singles and doubles together in Vasa Dansa tempo. So we shall be doing two singles and one double, and then two singles and a double and two singles and a double. It's part of the drill. And during the drill, I really would like you to try to add some of those uh, ornamentations that we just finished discussing. So the rise and the fall through the singles and the gentle rise and fall through your double. So two singles and one double, and we're going to do it with the music. So a uh, brief uh, little bit of the end of the quaternario music, then there'll be two little pickup notes, and then we start with our two singles. Right? Okay, excellent. Maestro. Nice two little pickup. Da da. Single. Single. Double. actually take that, we've just been perambulating around the room, I would actually like you to practice that on a tight circle. So I want you to imagine that uh, you are standing on one point of the circle, and the circle is about two people wide. This is not an accident. And I just want you to practice now two singles and a double, two singles and a double on the circle for, we'll say, we'll go clockwise for two sets of that. And then we'll do two sets of that in a counterclockwise rotation. This is just to practice tightening the geography up and learning to find your balance on a sort of tight rotation. Right? Okay, so I'm um, going to actually rewind the music to roughly that point. We'll see where it is. Go ahead and go ahead and play maestro. Are you ready? Single. Go the other way. Single. Single. Double. Two. Three. Single. Single. Double. Two. Three. Okay. Very good. So, <clears throat> we've talked about our singles and doubles. Now let's talk about their lateral analogs. So, for the single, for a lateral single, Basically, we have the continenza, which of course has the cognate of continent, and continent is something that uh, moves. <laughs> um, so, but it doesn't move far. It's also described as a step is described as the treading of the bellows is possibly the most useful description. So I'm going to face away from you to demonstrate this. So the continenza takes the same amount of time as one single. So two continenze take the same time as two singles. So, looks like this. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. You rise up and lower yourself. But you'll notice that my feet are not moving from their position. Right? I'm not stepping sideways. Mm -mm. I'm just swaying back and forth with a little rising and lowering motion. Right? And then you can see that creates a very sort of pleasant, elegant, graceful, sort of gentle swaying motion. Right. So generally, continents, they come in pairs. Sometimes they do come in singles. In rarer cases, sometimes they come in threes. In this dance, they come in pairs. One left, one right. So that's the continenza. The ripresa is the lateral cognate of the double. And there are 
many different ways people interpret the Ripresa, and that's because our dance manuals that have been handed down to us are adamantly and obstinately unclear <laughs> about the exact nature of the Ripresa. So you may see other versions of this, and maybe they are equally correct, or more correct, or less correct than the version that I am promulgating. Cannot say, but if you're watching my video, then you should learn it my way, by God. Authoritarianism for the Contessa, 100%. So, uh, the Ripresa is, in my world, the sideways analog of a double, of a doppio. However, in its basic form, it should not travel large distances. So it is a sideways double of sorts. So weight is on our right foot to start, left foot is free, and the Ripresa would look like this. Step left, undercut right, step left, gather, but do not close the right foot. Then you can do one to the right, right, undercut right, gather, but don't close. Okay, so I can, gather means my left foot approaches my right foot, but my weight is still entirely on my right foot so that I could easily lift my foot up and engage in all sorts of feats of athleticism, should I care to. So, ripresa often come in pairs. Sometimes they're singular, sometimes they come in threes. For now, let's practice one to the left and one to the right. And the timing on that is going to be da, 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 pause, da, 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 pause. So let's try that. Weight is on our right foot, left foot is free, and left, right, left, right, left, right. And in terms of the distance I'm covering, um, that's like two feet, right? So there's a lot of energy and time uh, and effort devoted to rising and lowering yourself rather than to just completely traveling sideways. Up, up, flat, up, undercut, flat, up, undercut, flat, up, undercut, flat. So let's put our, let's actually put a ripresa left and right, followed by continenza left and right. We're going to actually invert the exercise we did earlier. So we're going to go ahead and put on the basadansa music again. So we have some nice music to which to practice. <clears throat> Maestro. Again, Ripresa, two, three. Ripresa, Continenza, left, right. Ripresa, two, three. Ripresa, two, three. Continenza, left, once again. Continenza. learned now sempi, or singles, dopi. Uh, you've also learned their lateral cognates, continenzi, continenze, and riprese. So that brings us to saltarelli. So saltarelli are basically a double with a hop. And that's probably the most explicit description that we have. Um, Various people put the hop in different places. Some people put it in the, at the, the upbeat of the measure, so sort of before the measure begins. Some people put it on the last beat of the measure. Some people put it in the middle, although that last faction is a dying breed, thankfully. <laughs> uh, that might actually be literally true, which is perhaps a little macabre. Anyway, uh, Saltarelli, in my world, have the hop on the end. And in this dance, they incur entirely in the misura of quartenaria, which is, of course, the 4-4 meter that we have discussed earlier in this series. So to put a hop on the end of your doppio, it's actually just an ornament of the last step. It is not an extra leap 
or capriole or any other feat of, a, of a acrobatic uh, athleticism. So weight starts on our right foot, our left foot is free. So we do our three steps of our 4-4 four, four double and hop on the last foot. In this case, that would be the left foot. So it looks like this. Step, 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 hop. And I like to bring up my knee on the hop to create a nice clean frame. And that also, if you watch, that also uh, forces my skirts to do this sort of attractive puffing action. So step, 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 hop. Right, and if you consider that my clothing is a sign of my family's wealth and therefore my family's honore or honor, my motions should be calculated to emphasize and enhance the garments that I'm wearing. So, hence why I feel that that knee up is actually definitely part of the step. And that holds true whether it's men or women and their clothing because the men's clothing is also calculated. And in fact, I'll have my beloved husband come out here to demonstrate how that would look in a gentleman's garments. So as you see, he has this somewhat voluminous overgarment, and when he performs the saltarello as prescribed, step, 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 hop, it causes the skirts to flare. Thank you. We may go return to the musician's box. <coughs> right. So let us do, uh, we'll do, not accidentally, eight saltarelli around the room. First is on the left, second is on the right is on the left, etc, etc. And we'll do it with the music. So it will be the music at the very beginning of the dance. Um, there's two bars of introduction, so just enjoy the intro to the music. Maestro. And step, 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 hop, step, 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 hop, step, 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 hop, step, 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 hop, step, 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 hop. Very nice. So we now basically have all of the footwork that you need. I think we've drilled it quite well. So we are now going to move on to the main part of the dance. Stay tuned for part one of Marquesana. So part one of Marquesana. So Marquesana, which I believe I mentioned, but maybe I didn't, so I'll mention again, was one of these dances that was written in the hopes of the composer, in this case Domenico da Piacenza, to receive patronage at a court as a dance master. In this case, that would be Leonello d'Este, the Marques of Ferrara. So, he was a very powerful condottiero of the period, very successful, and so, of course, uh, Domenico was really hopeful of getting employment, and I believe he did actually succeed. So Marquesana is a playoff of the word Marquesa, so his title, of course. So, uh, basically, the, pro the pattern of the dance is we have our introduction, which consists of a certain number of saltarelli, and then a brief little argument, as we know these Dances tend to have quite a lot of melodrama, which makes them all the more charming. Um, then we have a very seductive, sexy circling figure in a nice slow basa danza, which of course must perforce terminate in a separation. But no separation can last in these genre of dances. The tension is just too much to bear. And so we eventually reunite in a little flurry of activity. So. We have our, basically our procession, argument, sexy courtship, separation, and reunion. So the procession around the room is going to consist of, and this dance is for couples, so thankfully two is enough. The follower, I'm on the leader side. I'm actually going to let um, my condottiero here actually lead. <laughs> Typical or a uh, typical configuration or constellation is the man is the leader on the left, the lady is the follower on the right. And sometimes on a repeat of these dances, the dance will have engaged in some sort of figure whereby the ladies end up taking the lead. This version though is the oldest version of the dance and it does not do that. And I apologize for that hideous screeching noise. That is my video bombing kitty. 
I'm sorry, you're just going to have to tolerate him. Um, even though I'm sometimes tempted to tranquilize him, I do not believe in pharmaceutical intervention when it's unnecessary. So, <clears throat> the dance, the procession, begins with eight saltarelli in quaternario. Quaternario, again, is that 4-4 four, four meter. One, two, three, four. And the hop is on the fourth beat, as we rehearsed during the footwork. So, weight is on our right foot, left foot is free, and we're just going to promenade around the room. And when we see, uh, when we see groups of people dancing in balls and festivities from this region of the world, they generally are processing in a counterclockwise rotation. That makes sense because it puts the ladies on the outside of the rotation and the ladies tend to be the most splendidly attired even though the gentlemen are attired fairly well as also. But I, ladies being on the outside sort of makes them very visible for the meat market that was a public ball. So eight saltarelli. Four for nothing, holding inside hands. Remember, hands are low. Four, three, two, one. Step, 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 hop, step, 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 hop, step, 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 step hop. Da, da. Four more. Four, three, two, one. So now that we've done our eight saltarelli, consider that your your a brief period of courtship and of course as with many conversations sometimes we have a little argument so what comes next could be perceived as an argument or perhaps the gentleman just playing coy so what's going to happen is music continues in 4-4 four, four. the gentleman is going to take three stomping steps forward stomp 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 and then he'll do a double. So three stomping steps forward and then just a regular double. So the idea is, I'm a little irritated at you, but I think we can make this work. <coughs> right. So here's how that will look. Ready, and stomp, 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 and then double, two, three. And there's a pause between the stomps and the doubles. So the timing will be stomp, 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 pause, double, two, three. Just to make that clear. Okay, so come back. So the leader will do that, and then the follower will catch up. So let's go ahead and try that. Leader's going first, then followers. Four for nothing. Four, three, two, one. Stomp, 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 pause, salt, double, two, three. Stomp, 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 pause, double, two, three. Okay, so let us now put that little brief uh, debate <laughs> together with the opening eight saltarelli of the music. So the figure will be eight saltarelli. After the eight saltarelli, immediately we're going to do it with music. We're going to do it with music. After the eight saltarello, the man will then immediately leave with his stomp, 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 pause, double, two, three, and the lady will then catch up. So two bar introduction. During the introduction, I recommend a nice reverenza to your partner before commencing with the Saltarelli. You are, if you become a more advanced dancer, or you are a more advanced dancer, when you hop, catch yourself as you come down. So don't just land like a ton of bricks. Use the hopping foot, the one that creates the leap, to catch yourself with the ball of your foot, and then use your calf muscle to actually lower yourself down. It will create a much more graceful effect. It will also be much better on your joints. Okay, so once again, eight saltarelli. Then stomp, 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 double, two, three.
So if you would like to practice that some more, and I recommend you do, feel free to rewind and go through it again. Next, part two. Welcome to part two of Marquesana. So, we just finished our eight saltarelli together, followed by the man leaving with three stomping steps and a double, and the lady catching up with her equally irritated three stomping steps and her equally conciliatory double. So, we're now to the point in the music where it's going to slow into a very seductive bassa danza, and our motion and footwork shall reflect that. So, we're going to actually commence our bassa danza section with riprese left and right. And if you don't know what those are, I recommend you return to the footwork section of this tutorial. So, we're going to riprese left and right together. Let's go ahead and do that. There will be two little pickup notes uh, when the music actually plays. You do not dance on the pickup notes. It'll go da-da, and then you step. So, let's go ahead and practice that da-da, and then you step. And da 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 Good. Crazy left and right. And then we will perform what I call the sexy circling figure. This is one of my favorite circling figures of all time. So what's going to happen is we're going to uh, turn to face each other sort of at the end of that represa actually. So that last step, the right step of the represa actually ends up being a quarter turn to face each other. So you're going to turn in whatever direction is necessary to do that and take right hands. So let's practice reprise left and right, final step of the reprise right, turning to face and taking right hands. Okay, so two little pickup notes. Da 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 and da da da. See how nicely that just flows together that way? Now I want you to imagine that we are on our own private circle we're standing on opposite sides of the circle, and we're now going to walk in a clockwise rotation, two singles and one double. So let's try that. Ready? And single, single, double. Stay facing at the end of that. Now, we are now going to, still on our circle, we're going to do reprise right, because we just went single left, single right, double left, right, left. So our weight should be solidly on our left foot still, meaning our right foot is free. So we are now going to do a represa to our own right, crossing in front of each other. And as we do that, we're going to switch from right hands to left hands. So the switching of the hands will happen basically mid represa right. So let's, we're facing each other on our circle. So let's go ahead and try represa right, switching to left hands and right two, three, and now we're on the other side of the circle, basically. And that's on purpose. So from here, you just did a reprise a right, so your left foot should be free. We will now do two singles and a double in a counterclockwise rotation. So, single, single, double, two, three. The sexy circling figure ends not with another reprise a, but with a, what I call the sexy stalking step. So both people, man and woman, shall be moving at the same time, using the same step, but in different directions. So lady, you are going to take a slow single step that takes one whole bar of music, so all six counts, backwards. One, two, three, four, five, six, keeping your weight on your right foot so that your left foot is free. At the same time, the men, the gentleman, is going to take a slow stalking step forward. So basically, lady's moving back as the man is moving forward. The gentleman is trying to move into the lady's space and the lady is saying, no, no, that, that's not going to happen. So I call this the sexy stalking step. So ready, weight is on your left foot, right foot is free, and one, two, three, four, five. Very nice. So that is the end of the sexy circling figure. So let's recap from the reprise left and right, the beginning of the bassa danza section. So music slows, two little pickup notes, reprise left and right, turning to face on the final step of the reprise, taking right hands, circle two singles and a double, 
cross, reprise a right, two singles and a double the other direction, slow stalking figure. Let's do it together. I will call it. Two little pickup notes for your reprise left and right. Da da sta da da and right facing right hands single single double two reprise the right to cross cross switching hands two singles single single one double double two three slow stalking step one two three four five six okay let's try that to the actual music now to just just the bossa dansa music to that point. <clears throat> Little pick up notes. Turning the face, right hand, two singles, single, single, double, reprise the right crossing, two singles, double, slow stalking step. Try that again with the music. In a normal class, this is when I would ask if you have any questions, but not this time. Reprisa. Right hand circling. Reprisa right crossing. Stalking step. Okay, very nice. One more time with the music. We'll play a little more lead in from the quaternario this time to make it seem less rushed. <coughs> Ready? Two little pickup notes. Step. Turning the face, right hand, circling, two singles and a double, reprise the crossing, so it's stopping step, very nice, so you hear the bus and on some music keeps going, so we're not quite done with this section yet. So, we've just done our sexy circling figure, if I could have my partner back. And we just did our, the ended with the slow stalking step. So weight is on our right foot, our left foot should be free because that slow sexy stalking step should have commenced with the right foot. And we're now going to separate. So the transition from this is actually interesting from both parts because there's this pause before we then continue motion. So for the lady, we just, you know, did this slow backwards step, and now we're actually going to go forward. The gentleman did this really slow forward step, and now they're going to go forward, but much more quickly, because we are both going to go forward in our respective direction with two dopey. So if you are in a confined space, I don't expect you to walk straight at the wall. You can dance in a curvilinear fashion. Right? <laughs> Part, one of the great art of this style of courtly dance is partire de la terra, which means partitioning of the ground. So that means you have to use the space that is available to you and maximize your gracefulness. So if that means curving your dopey or your sempi or whatever other travel step you happen to be using, then by God do so. <laughs> so <clears throat> we're holding hands. We just took our slow sexy stalking step backwards. We're now going to move forward in our respective forward directions, separating with two dopi. The second dopio ends with a mezzavolta. Mezzavolta means half turn. On the last step of the last dopio. So the first dopi, dopio, will be starting with the left foot, left, right, left. The second one will be right, left, right. So half turn on the right foot to face your partner. So let's go ahead and try this two dopey to separate in a forward direction and 
double, two, three, double, two, three. Right. Yes, we have an annoying fur baby. We cannot possibly lock him up. That will only make him more annoying. <laughs> do, you want, do you want to dance with us? No, he really doesn't. Okay, so now that we are facing, so we just did two dopey, two separate in our forward direction. We're now facing. And so as is the case often in these dances, when you separate and someone turns to face, you do ripresa at least left and often left and right. So here we shall be doing our riprese left and right, followed by our continenza left and right, which if you recall from our footwork exercise, we actually practiced. So riprese left and right, continenze left and right. Ready and left to three and right to three continenze left and right and down. Okay, so back together, back together, taking right hands as though we just danced our stalking step. It's left hands, sorry. Left hands. Take left hands and pretend we just did our stalking step backwards, so left foot is free. We're now going to do our two doubles to separate, half turn, but appraise the left and right, continence left and right. Ready, and double, two, three, double, two, three, reprise left, two, three, and right, continence left and right, left and right. Okay, let's put that together with the stalking step so you can feel the transition. This is one of my favorite parts of the dance because the transition from incredibly long slow step to the relatively fast dub dopey steps of the dopio actually creates a really interesting and sort of passionate dynamic. So, slow stalking step backwards, that means wait now, right now your weight should be on your left foot. Right foot back. Ready and back two, three, four, five, six, do bio, do bio. Reprise the left and right, left two, three, and right, two, three, continenze, left, and right. Okay, so let's put that all together now with our sexy circling figure. So, sexy circling figure, and we'll do it with the music. Sexy circling figure starts with reprise left and right, and we have the actual circling figure itself, two singles and a do double, reprise right, two singles and a double, slow stalking step back, and then two dopey, two separate. Let's try it, I shall call it. Really? Oh, I pressed the wrong button. <laughs> two little pickup notes. Reprise the left. And right. Facing right hand, so we're playing two singles in a double. We praise a right crossing. Two singles in a double the other way. Slow stalking step back. Separating double. Two. Double. Two. Three. We praise a right, left, sorry. And right. Let's try that again. Yes, obviously the music does continue. We can't end the dance that separated. That would just be very, very incorrect. Perhaps to the point of morally incorrect. You're crazy left and right together. One more time. Um, 
something to note, try to use all of the music. So on that pause, that is sort of at the end of Dopey and at the end of Pretty Crazy, actually take that time to lower yourself. So you might make this step before the end of the bar, but continue to lower yourself through the rest of the bar. So for instance, instead of reprise a left, two, three, da, 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 right, two, three, da, da, right, up, up, lowering, up, up, lowering. And yes, that will definitely be a much more challenging <laughs> motion that will require a great deal of ankle and calf control. I'm throwing this out there for people who are more advanced or people who are looking to challenge their skills and grow them. So if you're one of those people, then as I said, try to actually make that last step really count by lowering yourself from an elevated position through the bar. Okay, well, that's enough dance pedantry for the moment. Let's practice that section again, shall we? been section two of the dance, I suppose, is the way we're counting. That has been section two of the dance. So stay tuned for the grand reunion, and if you feel you need to, please review this section again and again and again. So welcome to the grand finale of Marquesana. So um, we're actually going to learn this a little bit out of order just because I want to drill the final figure first uh, because it will just then be easier to tack it on than going in the other direction. So for now, what I would like you to do is uh, face your fart partner and meet, I'm a leader, I'm not a leader, I'm the follower. I'm so used to dancing, this is the leader. Right, I'm the follower, right shoulders. Yes. So I want you to be standing next to your partner, facing in opposite directions, right shoulder in between you. Okay, so this final figure that we're about to learn is I call the, the crazy turning figure. And that's because two things happen at once. So the follower, that would be me, is going to do a volta tonda, which just means a full turn with four steps all the way around, left, right, left, right. So that would look like this. One, two, three, four. While the leader or the follower is doing that, the leader is going to be walking around her in an arc to end up to her left with, with a double. Step, step, step. Uh, left, right, left. And actually, I'm sorry, the lady's turn is also only three steps left, right, left. So those two things happen at the same time. Brief recap. Lady turns left, right, left, all the way around so that she's facing forward once again. While she does that, the leader walks an arc behind her left, right, left to end up to her left. We will demonstrate how this looks, so just watch. Ready, and left. So, uh, can we go back? Let's try that together. Let's try that together. So three steps to get all the way around is actually harder than you think. So followers, make sure you take three really good sized steps to get all the way around. Okay, so weight is on your right foot, left foot is free, ready, and left, right, left. Now, if you do this right, then um, you actually get to make some sexy eye contact because 
As the man is arcing behind the lady, the lady is turning, and so you can actually make eye contact as you pass. Okay, let's try that crazy turning figure. So when I'm calling this dance, I will say crazy turning figure. Right, and that's what I mean. Okay, so weight is on your right foot, left foot is free. Crazy turning figure. One, two, three. Taking hands? Eye contact. <laughs> it's crazy. And we take hands again. It's been a while. And uh, yeah, so that's the crazy turning figure. Let's practice that one more time. Okay. Weight is on your right foot, left foot is free. And one, two, three. Okay, so um, as we ended in the last section, we were actually separated by roughly four doubles for Dopey, but probably not if you're dancing in a space that is not a great hall at the Castello Sforzesco in Milano. So we're separated, some amount of space, and we're now going to get our reunion. So the reunion happens in two parts, and it commences with classic attitudinal motion in this genre of dance, which is the movimiento. So the movimiento is just a rising and a lowering yourself, a raising and a lowering. So you raise and you lower, and you can add some sh shoulder shading. Sorry, I tried to tie my tongue. Some shoulder shading. Da -da. And um, you may make eye contact, and you may make some kind of gesture that would be appropriate to a lady, capital L, in public. Now, the timing on the movimenti is going to be men movimento ladies. Okay, so it's, it's always, generally it's this sort of call and response situation. So, men movimento ladies. Let's go ahead and try that. Ready? And men movimento ladies. And then we are both together at the same time going to do a doppio, one double, to meet halfway, leading with the left foot. So meet halfway, do not meet all the way. If that means you have to, because of your space, curve around a little bit, that's fine. Because we still have one more dopio before we get to meet. So let's try men movimento ladies, both double halfway. Okay. Ready, and men movimento ladies, and double halfway. Good. Now we invert what we just did. So it'll be ladies movimento men, Double to meet right shoulders. Okay, ready and ladies movimento men and double to meet. And in these cases, you do actually close your steps or rather let your weight reset because each of those should, as per the instructions, commence with your left foot. And this last figure also commences with your left foot. So now that we're back together, we do our crazy turning figure as practiced. So let's go ahead and try that. Ready? And one, two, three. I don't know I hopped. I don't know either. There's no hop. That, that was improvisation. If you care to improvise a hop, feel free. It's not explicitly called for. And then, now that we've reset, reset ourselves, the ladies are right again, so the universe is balanced. We're going to make a little, a little sideways hop onto our right foot, posing our left foot into our right foot. So we just did that turn, so this is what I mean. One, two. Okay. And that means, that's specifically so that our left foot is free to commence dance again. So let's separate back out. Let's try the reunion. So to recap, men movimento ladies, double halfway. Ladies movimento men, double to meet right shoulders. Crazy turning figure, little hop to the right, with, onto your right foot with the posada, with the left foot posing into the right foot. Okay, let's go ahead and try that. Starting with the men. Ready, and men movimento ladies, double halfway. Ladies movimento men, double meeting right shoulders, left, right, left, and hop. Okay, let's try that section with music. After that performance earlier from my bratty kitty, he's now sitting there very self-content on my very expensive tapestry cushion in my very expensive handmade chair. Yeah. Um, right. 
Yeah, okay. The types um, of music. From the uh, end of the bossa dansa. Right? Oh, from the end of the bossa dancer? Yeah, I mean, because we want a oh, yeah. couple of bars of bossa dansa to lead us into that. And we can cut this section. Okay. Ready? Yes. <coughs> no, no, no. End of the bossa dancer section. Oh, this is the beginning of the bossa Yes. It's a good thing we we're going to cut this anyway. <laughs> So, are you talking? Yeah, a little bit before that. Cause... Yeah, wherever you just started it. Okay, and then the basa dancer? Yes. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Men ready? And men, ladies, double halfway. Ladies, men, double to meet. Turning figure. Okay, let's try that again. practice the transition from the bossa dancer. Men ready? Men, ladies, double to me. Ladies, men, double to me. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. So, we are now going to put we're going to practice the bossa dancer section into the grand finale so that we can really practice the transition between the two sections. So if we could rewind to the end of the quaternario. First bit of quaternario. Starting with croquet, left and right. Left. Taking right hands. Single. Raise the right cross in. Slow single step back. One, two, three, four, five, six. Doubles to separate. Facing or raise a left. And right. Continente left and right. Movimenti men. Ladies, double, halfway. Ladies, men, double to me. Turning. Okay. So, we are actually at the end of the dance. So let's go ahead and practice all the way through. So that has been the end of the third section. If you feel the need to repeat anything or review, feel free to rewind. The next section will be our practice together. So we are now at the final part of our instructional video for Marquesana. We're now just going to practice. So remember, it stands through twice. The second time through is exactly the same as the first. There is actually no inversion of gender roles here, and the instructions actually specify that it ends the way it began, and they do it once more. So, recap. Eight saltarelli together, followed by our brief stomping argument and brief conciliatory gesture of the double. Music slows into our beautiful basa dance, leading with her crazy left and right. Then we have our sexy circling figure, which terminates in our sexy slow stalking step. Immediately thereafter, we separate with our two dopey, 
turning to face, reprise left and right, continenza left and right. And then we have our reunion, which commences with movimiento, man, woman, double halfway, woman, man, double meeting right shoulders. Crazy turning figure, little hop, and the posada with your left foot. And then the dance repeats. So I shall call it. Uh, this first time through, I will call it, and then we will play the music again, and there will be no calling, and you can just do your best. Okay, here we go. Marquesana. It's Saltarelli. Stomping steps and a double. Ladies. Raise the left and right. Right hand circling. Two singles and a double. Raise the right crossing. Switching the left hand. Single. Single and a double. Low step back, go forward. Two don't be to separate. Raise it left. Continente. The union man movimento. Ladies, double the meat halfway. Ladies, men, double the meat, turning figure. On the top, Salter Ellie. <laughs> Men leave stomping. Double. Leave. Reprise. through. Music <coughs> dance play through twice and I shall not call. I shall leave you to your own devices. May God help you.
has been your class on Marquesana. Of course, as always, if you need to, please rewind and repeat. If you wish to have this music for your very own, and I highly recommend it, please do make sure you purchase this album from Gaita Trouble Me the Borden. Purchase information is in the description below. We like to support our musicians, especially ones who put so much effort into recreating a musical form that is really, or has been, for all intents and purposes, dead for centuries. So, I hope you've enjoyed this. If you have, please like and subscribe. And if you feel like you would like to see more such content, please do support me on my Patreon page. The Creative Contessa, out. Thank you.